Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner studio and with me today I don't know how to introduce you. I'm just going to say these are the guys from Brown Town, you know, <laughs> because right. uh, you know, Brown Town's. Kind of, I think a lot of people hear about Brown Town but never go there, you know. And it's a great little little community down there. What I have with me is Roger Tomhave, Brian Wilkinson, Wilkinson or yeah. Wilkerson, Wilkinson, Wilkinson, and Tom Lacombe. Tom's been here before. We did a little veteran story on you, Tom. Your, your yes, book sir. and everything you wrote. So, anyway, it's great. Uh, Tom, is, your wife Carol had worked for me for a while. Yeah, she yeah, did. She's when, great. She's yeah, great. when we first moved into yeah. uh, Brown Town. So you all have formed this history club of Brown Town, and a couple of years ago, you kind of I think you said you were in your third year, and this year, you know, Brown Town does a calendar every year. Sometimes they've done photo contests. They've done all different things over the years help raise funds for their community center. Is that correct? That's correct. So this year, the History Club took it over, and they have made this calendar about the history of Brown Town. So, Roger, you want to tell us about how, how this got started and a little bit about the calendar? Yeah, well, let's talk a little bit about the History Club, and I think, uh, Brian, why don't you get us going okay. on that? Yeah, we, we just started informally, I guess, those three years or mm -hmm. so. We've been a relatively small club, and our, we formed really because we wanted to do two things. Uh, the first was actually to involve people who live in the area so that they actually appreciate their history sure. and get to know about it. And the second, which is the second part of our title, because we're called the History and Preservation Club, okay. was also focused people on the idea that we need to look, we need to take care of what we've got, and that involves both the buildings and also, in our case, old trees as sure, well. Sure. The whole of the environment so that people appreciate that. Because it is it is deteriorating and we're concerned about that. At the same time, there were so many uh, people moving into Browntown Valley that didn't know about any of that history. And especially right. with the pandemic, there were so many people that no longer needed to go into D.C. to yeah, work. Yeah, they, or, they uh, stayed home. They could stay home <laughs> or they could live in, in a more rural kind of environment mm -hmm. and work from home. And so uh, we had this uh, whole influx of new people that we really wanted to make sure that they, they f could feel like a part of the community and kind of join the old with the new and let them know about what was going on. So there's the, in uh, Browntown they have a term called move-ins. Well, we're all move-ins. Right. Uh, uh, Tom Lacombe has been there since what year? 78. 78. Yeah. And 95. 95 and 2010. Right. So we're all kind of move-ins, but, yeah. but we wanted to uh, join the locals together with the move-ins. So I, I had an ophthalmologist that, that was born and raised in Browntown. And uh, so we were talking about local versus move-in. And I asked him, because he was born and raised there, he said, well, how long does it take to become known <laughs> as a local? So he asked me how old I was, and uh, I told him, and he said, oh, you won't live that long. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I tell people, it doesn't matter when you did it, but if you graduated from Warren County yeah. High School, now you're a local. It don't matter if you've been there five <laughs> years. You could be here 50 right. years, but if you didn't graduate from the high school, you're not a local, right? And that's kind of how, you know, I know you don't have a high school in Brown Town, but <laughs> it's kind of along the same way. Tom, though, has embraced the Brown Town uh, heritage, don't you think? Well, he's uh, he married he, in, so yeah. you say a little bit more about that, Tom. Uh, I'm, I married a woman that was... Um, her family was from Brown Town, mm -hmm. and um, so that that made me a <laughs> semi-local. <laughs> semi-local, yeah. yeah. Tom yeah. is also the person behind the fact that Brown Town is is a historic district. Oh. So Tom is Tom is the living history man. Yeah, we're yeah. a couple of amateurs compared yeah. to Tom. Right. Yeah. He has so oh. many stories and knows what's going on. You know, when I go down. You know, you got the the community center, and you got that creek run. You know, that little strip of. I call it Main Street. I don't know, I guess yeah. what it is, but it just got that special charm about it. <laughs> especially if you've had some events there, you know, like the Bud, Red Bud Festival and things, and you yeah. see the people walk, and you can just imagine, you know, now I would say 150 years ago, you know, 100 years ago even, and just the stuff that was going on, and, and you'll see some of your pictures and things of, yeah. the, of the activities. It was, it was lively, yeah. I think. I mean, a, night, a neat little community, and it's and I know that I know there's a lot of community in Brown Town, and a lot of people, even the move-ins, they That's kind of right. adapt pretty quick, don't That's they? That's right. That's they right. They kind of, you know. 
And we're so we're trying to help them adapt and to understand more about the history of Browntown and and to collect stories right. about that history and to collect photos about that history. So yeah. and to help people to retain that history by mm -hmm. cleaning up those photos sure. and and, uh, yep. and well, preserving I, we them. We published a few books from the like, you know, like the grade school books and have all the pictures of the kids yeah. and you know, it was just a simple print, but they have sold hundreds of those, even for, to people that never went to Brown Town, but they want, they just say, wow, that is so cool. And yeah. they just sell out whenever they print those books up, you know, over the years. Cookbooks, too. You know, you've yeah. got them in your yeah. store. You run, you're still there at the O.J. Rudisil store, Rudisil. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see the post on Facebook. There's Tom with his broom standing up. <laughs> well, and the fun, one of the fun things about putting this together has been actually inviting people to let us see their old photographs. Sure, yeah. So a lot well, of those have come out. Yeah, let's turn some pages here. I want to show you one thing that's really cool about your 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 calendar here that you have obviously you have mark you can swing in on you have old photos and and you have a little story about them but now you put this qr code here at the bottom tell yeah. us a little bit about what that is well so uh when we were trying to determine what pictures to use and so you put up any picture yeah. just when we were trying to determine what pictures to use it was partly based on the quality of of that image and what sure. the image meant for the valley but then, more than that, it was about the stories, what we knew about that photo, when it was taken, what was the history of that photo. And so, uh, Brian and Tom and I worked together to, to, to select the photos based not just on the image, but on the story we could tell. And so, uh, so Brian had sent to me his synopsis of, of the stories that we could tell mm -hmm. and asked me to pick you know, just a couple of lines to put on the calendar page mm -hmm. to to pique people's interest about sure. that story. But when I saw what he had, he would put basically together an article on each one of the pictures. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, wouldn't it be great if we could, okay, I'll put in a blurb, but if we could direct people to more of the story. Mm -hmm. So that's what the QR code does yeah. you, on the, uh, for this picture. At the bottom of March, there's a uh -huh. little QR code, and if you follow the QR code, that takes you right to our club's website, uh, and and that website has a story, more pictures uh, that uh, fill out the information about each one of the pictures. Yeah, so so cool. it yeah. was a, our ability to tell that story in greater depth, right. which led us to the QR code. And as you're going through, and all of a sudden you're starting to see names of people, you kind of recognize these names, yes. you know? And you're thinking, well, wait a minute, I know so-and-so. She's got that same last name. Right. And then you find, oh, yeah, that was my uncle and my <laughs> grandfather. And, you know, they, they don't really share the story, but they do know them, you know. And, yeah. and, they, and it's, it is kind of cool. I think our history well, is it's, important. It's already directed uh, many more people to us who have more stories sure. and more pictures. Right. Yeah. And, and we, get, we, we get that with the examiner, you know, because, yes, it's primarily Warren County, but we got people to move away, they read it, and they'll have a story, and then they'll write me a note, or they'll make comments on, on the uh, on the stories. I remember when, you yeah, know, or right. I love it, you know, and it's, I regret moving away. <laughs> so. Now, what may confuse people a little bit is the name of our club is the Goonie Valley oh, History okay. and Preservation Club. Okay. And that was intentional. Because Brown Town didn't actually exist until about 1870. Right. But the valley existed and has history that goes back way beyond that. So our work basically encompasses the whole of that yeah, large, a little larger area. Yeah, very much a, a large part of southern Warren County. Yeah. We try to connect to Warren County as well because sure. Warren, as you, as you all know, it has a fantastic history, probably yeah. more than almost any other county in Virginia, yeah. stuff that's gone on here. Yeah, it wasn't all about Civil War, was it? It wasn't all before the mm. Civil War, no. A lot of it happened early and a lot of it happened afterwards. Yeah, it is so cool, though. I, I like the history and I like looking at old photographs. I think most people do. I think everybody does. Yeah. Here's one that... Uh, that looks like Tom, your car, Roger. It, it, I wish it was my car, <laughs> Me but too. actually, yeah. Tom knows the story of this yeah, one. Yeah, this um, this car was my father-in-law's. He's driving with the... Um, looks like a gangster in that photo. <laughs> <laughs> but that's his 1931 Chevrolet in, um, in Brown Town with all his buddies. And um, it's... It's one of our better photographs, sure. I think. Um, yeah. I was going to say, 
in the one photo we showed earlier, the March photo, we show the um, stave factory in Brown Town. Mm -hmm. And in, in that picture, there's a Model T car picture. And so get back to that one the, the calendar um, was seen by the man that has that car still in a building. Oh, wow. And yeah. he wants it to be in Brown Town. So this, this little Model T uh -huh. here yeah. is, um, so it's just one of the things that the calendar is um, yeah. done for us already. That's great. It's great. So uh, you're gonna, are you going to be at the Festival of Leaves? I, well, we uh, good question. question. <laughs> we got several places that, of course, the the calendar is available at, at the store. store. Right, right. It's uh, available at Glen Manor Vineyards. Okay, they, they have them for sale there. And then we've been selling them at the uh, Brown Town Community okay. Center Association events. Yeah, and, and if anybody goes to the Goonie Valley History Club website and just put Goonie Valley History in right. there and it'll come up. Then there's a place that they can actually just send us or, an email yeah. saying, "How do I get one of these?" Sure, and we sure. can we'll we will yeah. respond to that. They make great gifts. This is a perfect time sure. for calendars, and I think you're selling them for twenty bucks. I yeah. mean, yeah. and it's part of history, and they make great gifts. And I think because yeah. no one, everyone loves calendars, uh, and especially if they got history on them and, and the area where they live. I think it's so cool. And the, and our all funds go to support the the broader Brown Town Community Center right. Association yeah. work. Yeah, a lot of a lot of cool things go on in Brown Town. I know I keep saying the Red Bud Festival is kind of one of your big things down there, but people come from all over the place, don't they, yeah. to attend these these little festivals? Um, we're we're very fortunate to have the Brown Town Community Center as a right. as a partner with this project. Yeah, and, and they've helped us with um, getting the historic district um, approved. Desi you get a designation. Right. Yeah. That's, and, I just heard and, the other day too. Uh, that's really a big deal to get that designation. Uh, Bel Air, uh, Bel Air, Bel Air, Bel Air just received the. They're on the national registry now. So, uh, you know, there's a lot. It takes a lot of work and time to to do that. It's great. One thing I remember about Brown Town is the duck race. Have you guys done that? Is that something? you remember that? <laughs> yeah. Still goes on. Still does it? Yeah. 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 I, 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 somehow that just popped in my head. The duck race at Brown Town. Yeah, right. Fill the creek with right. full of ducks. It was, yeah. it was a lot of fun. It's a, lot a popular of fun. event. It is. And it's just a lot of fun. And I think a lot of that has to do with the community. Yeah. You know I mean, I just think that's a shared, shared interest that people have. And it's just... You know, did you ever think that you would have that when you moved out here from the... And now it's an important role that we play, we think, about bringing all the community yeah, to, yeah. together through our history and through yeah. our, our shared story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where did you move from, Roger? Well, we came from Fairfax County, okay. close to George Mason University okay. is where we live. Right. So uh, but we moved out so that uh, we could be closer to the things we love. Sure. Hiking, yeah. canoeing, kayaking. Yeah. Yeah. Sure he's, he's still young, isn't he, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> it's all relative. It's a, <laughs> How about you? You sound like you're from southern Georgia. So, yeah, you got it, got it right. First time. Uh, from London, England. Yes. So um, actually there's quite a small community of Brits yeah. who actually live in, in the Goonie Valley. It's, right. a, it's quite extraordinary. We've, yeah. we've all found this little place. And I think one of the reasons is it kind of reminds us of home. Right. Because there are similar villages all over England yeah. one way or another. Yeah. And um, yeah, we, we have loved it. We continue to, to love it and enjoy it. And yeah. um, working on the calendar has been a great way just yeah. to talk to people. Yeah. Having casual conversations, we can identify a surname, a Cooper, a Rudisill, sure. an Updike, and all of a sudden we're off into history. And yeah. uh, Not many Wilkinsons, but... There are some. Oh, okay. Oh, there oh, you yeah. go. They there. made it too. And in Warren County. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're around. I've never met them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom uh, goes, well, I remember Tom when he fixed my screens at the at the uh, Ramsey's Hardware Store on, on Main Street. That was back in the 70s, yeah, wasn't it? 70s yeah. or 80s. Early 80s yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I remember Tom doing that and great. Great customer service. That's great. I'm sure you're doing that at the store too. It's kind of like once it gets in your blood, it's hard to get yeah. hard to move yeah. on. Well, the store is all is still a great meetup spot for it folks. Is. Yeah, it's set in the yeah. porch and 
you know. Yeah, and it, sure. and it, it, we don't have a museum per se, but if there were a museum, it would be Tom Shop. Yeah. Yeah, so anybody great. who hasn't visited, even if you don't buy anything, just to go visit and, and um, experience all the things that sure. are there, it's a real yeah. treasure. That's great. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you guys doing all this. This history thing is really help, has helped the community of Browntown and the Goonie Valley. We'll give them a little plug. Well, and we also yeah. want we also want to get involved much more with Warren County per se. The Warren, Warren Heritage Society is a very important institution, mm -hmm. and we we certainly intend to work more with them in the future so that we can actually okay. broaden this and maybe do similar kind of activities with all right. them. All right. Well, thanks again for coming in. I want to remind people this is a great. Christmas gift, uh, and it's just and it's something that lives on beyond the year. Uh, you can keep these things. It's got a lot of bit of history. It's twenty bucks. Check it out. We'll put a link to the store to your website. People can go there and you know visit Tom's store and pick pick a dozen of these things up. All right. Again, thanks, gentlemen. I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much for having us.